See, like, what is this? What is this? Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. We made it. It's a new year. Seeing as I'm the princess of positivity, I wanted to bring you a little dose of optimism. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, tap the like and let's get into it. First and foremost, if you're struggling with star guards, you need to know that losing sight doesn't mean you have to lose your vision too. We lose a lot when we lose sight. It's not just sight loss, as I say. It's losing your sense of self, what you thought life could be, who you thought you could be. There's a lot you have to give up, honestly. But don't give up your vision too, your ability to see into the future and desire and want to achieve things for yourself. You still can. If you're a planner, plan for it. Modify. Do what you need to do. If you're not a planner, dive head first and get, <laughs> get the most out of your life. Like I like to say, Life lives you. Things are gonna happen that are out of your control, things you can't change. The only thing you can change is how you're gonna approach them. So do what needs to be done in order for you to live a fulfilling life. Tip number two is to believe. So there's this guy at the street corner of Young and Dundas. If you're from Toronto, you know. Out of nowhere, randomly, he's not well, he goes, believe. And I was thinking of that today and I said, yes, we need to believe. When you're going through a degenerative eye disease, you need to believe that each day is an opportunity for things to get better, a chance for you to grow and develop. This ish is gonna challenge you, but allow it to mold you in a good way. Don't allow it to destroy you. On top of that, believe that maybe this year there'll be a cure, or next year, or even if there isn't one in this lifetime, you're gonna make the best out of your life because that's what you're committing to. The best thing you can do about a horrible situation is make the most out of it or flip it and make use out of it. Look inwards, see how you can use something that is challenging you this much to make you so much stronger, so much wiser, so much better. This third tip is my favorite. Yes, you're losing one sense, but don't lose the essence of life. I mean that on many planes because you still have your sense of touch, smell, taste, and hearing. I like to indulge in the other four and I still appreciate that I can kind of see. Like as mad as I am that I can't see the viewfinder anymore and sometimes I'm out of frame, at least I can still set up and see the silhouette of this camera. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's out of focus, but what are you gonna do? I appreciate hearing the foam froth on my matcha over here or the smells that I mixed and matched in my essential oils. Whenever people come to my place, yes, it's a small space, but I create a vibe. It's the aura and the ambiance of really leaning on the other senses, using them to appreciate what you have left with your sight. I'm telling you, once you do, everything hits different from a really soft shirt or a cozy blanket like the one I crocheted. You feel things on different levels, okay? You smell more, you hear more. I'm not gonna say it's a superhero type of thing, but your senses do heighten slightly. Sometimes I'm like, your phone is ringing. People are like, how did you hear it vibrate at the bottom of the bag? I have to pay attention to everything else because I can't rely on my vision as much as I used to. If I only knew to appreciate the vision I had back then, ooh, but we're not gonna think about the past. We're just gonna use the past to propel us forward in the present moment to make a better future. Last and equally as important, my pod is called Authentic with Alicia for a reason. You gotta be honest and true to yourself. Like I share in a lot of my pod episodes, it always comes back to you. You gotta be real with you. If you're having a bad day, sit with it. Don't stay in it, sit with it. It's okay. It's okay to not be okay. You are guaranteed to have some days because this disease is gonna try you and test you and wear you out. And there's no point in trying to sugarcoat it or pretend to be okay when you're not okay. Sometimes the best thing you can do is acknowledging and having the awareness that, hey, this sucks, but it's not gonna be like this forever you're gonna find a way to make this work for you. You're gonna find a way to pivot, shift your perspective and focus on things differently. That way you don't get slipped up, tripped up by your vision loss and get clouded by it. You may not be able to see clearly, but with these four tips, you got it. This year is gonna throw a lot your way. As I like to say, being legally blind is a layer on top of everything. You're not just navigating through life, you're navigating through life legally blind, but you'll be fine. And even when you don't feel you're fine, know that you've been through some stuff before, you can get through whatever life is gonna throw your way, 
and it's okay to not be okay. So on that note, I'm gonna wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this short shot. If you did, tap the like, subscribe for more, and until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.